Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to constrain displacements and rotations for MSC Nastra and optimization. I'll be going through a very brief description of this model. I'll be describing our optimization problem statement, what are we uh, designing, what's our objective, our constraints, and so on and so on. And then I'll walk you step by step on how to configure your displacement and rotation. As always, if you have questions, if you want personal training, if you want access to the web app you see today, feel free to contact me at this bottom email address and I'll get back to you. Uh, optimization problem statement, or the description of the model that is. Uh, we have a rod that's 12 inches in length. The original cross section has a radius of 0.25 inches. Uh, here on the bottom, I have the original mechanical properties. We have two load cases we have to watch out for. On one end, we have a fixed condition, so there's no translation in the X, Y, or Z, and there's no rotation about the X, Y, or Z. The same is true for load case two. We have a fixed end. For load case one, we're applying a 25-pound load at the tip in the Y direction, and we are also applying the same 25-pound uh, load in the Z direction. For load case two, we are applying a... Uh, moment at the tip of 100 pound inch and this will be about the x axis as you can see here the maximum deflection will be at the tip and here we in low case 2 we have to watch out for the rotation about the x axis so what are we optimizing we are optimizing for weight we're going to let the radius of the cross section vary so we're going to let the optimization capability in MSC National decide if the radius should be larger or smaller. The two constraints we're imposing. At the tip, we're imposing a deflection constraint uh, between negative 0.4 and positive 0.4 inches. And at the tip, we're going to say that the twist can be no more than positive 0 0.0349 radians, which is two degrees here. Now let's go ahead and walk you through how to do this with MSC Nastran, and just to start off with, let's look at our results at the very beginning. Our deflection at the tip is currently at a value of 0.47 inches, which is beyond the constraint we just described. And what about our rotation? Let's look at that. Our rotation for subcase 2 is 0 0.05 radians, which is again beyond uh, the constraint we just described. So the initial design is already violating these two constraints. Now let's go ahead and configure our constraints and let the optimization capability find a optimal design that satisfies these constraints. In the web app, click on constraints, search for displacement, which is here, and click on the plus icon to create one displacement constraint. We're going to say that the displacement in the Y or second component, so you would type in 2, for node 13 is to be within 0.4 and positive 0.4 inches. And that's how simple it is to define a displacement constraint. I can create a second constraint and do the same for the Z component or the third component for node 13, and I will copy over the same bounds. And then I would do this again for the rotation. So the rotation about the x-axis, which is the fourth component for node 13, is to not go beyond 0 0.0349 radians. So let's go ahead and copy this here. Um, now let's suppose you wanted to constrain another node too. Let's go ahead and put that here as an example. You want to constrain the y or the second component for node 12 as an example. Uh, this might get tedious over time. You have to type these in one by one, but there's actually a way shorter method. And here, let me show you what that shorter method is here. Here in R1, I'm going to constrain not only the Y component or, or the second component, I'm going to constrain the Z or the third component here. So type in a three. So here I say two, three, means constrain both the Y and the Z component. And here, instead of just constraining the third node or 13th node, I can constrain the 12th 
node by tapping a 12 there too. And I can do this for node 11, node 10, and so on and so on. Um, so here, I wouldn't even need this third or fourth constraint. It's all summed up for me in this first row. So let's go ahead and check this again. I'm constraining the Y and the Z component for just node 13. And here, let's go ahead and fix this constraint. The This third or second row will be dedicated cons to constraining the rotation. So this th three should be the fourth um, component. This should remain node 13. And as for our upper bound, that should be 0 0.0349. So let's go ahead and copy that there. So in the first row, I've constrained the deflections. In the second row, I've constrained the rotations. Here on the right is the output I now need to use in my MSC Nastron input file. So let's go ahead and open this input file. This input file already has the objective and design variable model or statements already created. So I just have to paste my constraint statements here. Let's go ahead and run this optimization and see what our results are. And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and open our F06 file and just inspect it to make sure that our results are there. So we have the message run terminated due to hard convergence at an optimum. That's a successful indicator. So let me go over the results real quick. So again, the initial design had a radius of 0.25 inches. The initial responses, the deflection and the rotation were originally beyond the constraints. In our final design, it found that to satisfy the constraints, it had to increase the radius of the cross section. So naturally the mass increased very slightly, but the benefit is that now our deflections are within the limits. Our, our new deflections are negative 0.25 three two inches and our new rotation is 0 0.0349 radians you'll notice that this uh response is right at the constraint of 0 0.0349 radians so you can consider this as sort of the governing constraint for the optimization so let's go ahead and view the results in patron there is a result file that was created um during the optimization process, that result file contains both the original re structural results and the new optimization structural results. So I'll go ahead and uh, attach those to our Patron database. And let's go ahead and view what the original uh, deflection was at the tip. And that was a 0 .0 or 0 0.47 inches. Let's find out what our new deflection was. And that was 0.322 inches. Let's go ahead and view our original uh, rotation at the tip. That was 0 0.05. And our new rotation at the tip is now 0 0.0349 radians. So that is basically how you constrain deflections, displacements, and rotations for size optimization in MSC Nastran. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me at this email address at the bottom right hand screen. I'd be more than glad to help. Also, if you want access to this web app that makes the process of constructing your design models faster, definitely reach out to me. I'd be more than glad to work with you on uh, giving you access to this. Uh, thank you for watching.